Hey, what's up? Back with another video. So today I'm going to be talking about number 9 and Takahiro Miyashita brand history and I have a couple pieces to show you guys. So Takahiro Miyashita was born in 1973 in Tokyo, Japan. So after getting kicked out of school for smoking and doing other side hustles, Takahiro started his own brand in 96 called Number 9 under Cook's Co. LTD which he also owns. And Number 9 is basically an inspiration from a lot of his love for American culture, music, fashion, and a bunch of other things. So this is a slow development for number 9 from about 96 to 04, which is when his first collection was presented on the runway in Paris. That's when his brand originally blew up. And after that, his brand took off. So after the 04 runway, give peace a chance, Takahiro kind of felt as if the brand was going in a direction that he didn't want. The brand was becoming so large that he didn't have as much of a voice as he did before when it was just one small store in Tokyo. And he left. So this is in 09 when he left the brand. And the following year in 2010, Takahiro started The Soloist, which is now still going. I have a quote from Takahiro himself about number nine. It was a big company and often I did not get to do what I wanted. So I thought that I needed to be a completely independent designer. I wanted to be a solo singer, just like John Lennon who quit the Beatles to be like John Lennon. So as you can see, the Beatles really inspired Takahiro and his journey in the fashion world. He also named the brand, number nine, after the Beatles, about the song Revolution 9, where it goes 999. That's the reference where he got his brand name from. Alright, so now I'm going to be comparing four pieces from number nine. I've got three from the era of Takahiro when he was in-house, and one piece is from this fall-winter 1918 season, and we'll be showing you guys differences in quality, price, design, and all of that. So let's get into it. The first piece that I have is this sleeveless tank top. It's this muted purple kind of grayish color. And it's from 2006, so it was when Takahiro was in-house. It has the musical detailing all across the neck, in the inner line. Everything is raw hemmed, which, and it's triple stitched, which you don't see very often. The raw hem on the bottom is beautiful. It's insanely detailed. There's not too much to this tank, but you could tell the quality of this garment. So, the second piece I have is this number 9 rocking chair. It's just this plain graphic with a rocking chair and what to looks like to be a pair of Converse. The rocking chair is in the shape of a heart. You could tell Takahiro took so much influence from America in this piece. There's not too much detailing, it's just a plain white shirt, but the quality of the shirt does feel very nice and soft. And it's just a cool little graphic tee. So this is my favorite piece from number 9 by far. They are a cropped cargo sweatpant. They have these cool droopy pockets that are huge all across the leg and the back. There's an insane amount of detailing from the waistband to the bottom hems to the pockets. It's just all across an insane pant. It's made out of this French terry, which feels so nice. And they've only gotten better with wear. The quality on this garment is amazing. And now moving on to the new fall winter 1819 collection from number nine. I picked up a bomber jacket. I thought it was gonna be amazing and turns out quality wasn't that great. So this is the jacket and all of the detailing on this jacket is mostly patches. So it has the, the badge on the left chest and then stars running down the, down the arm. And inside has all of this musical detailing, which I'm sure you guys have seen before. It's famous from number nine. You have the same detailing on the back. And all in all, this jacket is dope, but the problem I have with it is the outer layer. It feels like a Forever 21 bomber, and I'm kind of disappointed by that. 
I understand there's patches and all of that, but the quality on this garment really isn't the greatest. It's a thin bomber jacket, which feels more like a baseball jacket. It's made out of nylon and polyester, so it's not the worst material, but I think they really could have done something else. Maybe with the lining or just in the inside made it thicker or something like that. It's just really thin and feels cheap in my opinion. Not really the biggest fan. So yeah, that was my little brand showcase and my brand history for number 9 and my love for Takahiro Miyashita. Hope you guys enjoyed. Come back next time.